The timing of this memo, which will be so important to America's underserved communities, is particularly fitting today. September 25th is the 60th anniversary of the Little Rock Nine's first day of class at Central High School. A few weeks prior to their first day, Governor Orville Fallis called in the Arkansas National Guard to stand by as segregationists blocked the nine black students from entering the all-white school. One of the nine students, Elizabeth Eckford, recalled, and I quote, they moved closer and closer. Somebody started yelling. I tried to see a friendly face somewhere in the crowd, someone who could maybe help. I looked into the face of an old woman and it seemed like a kind face, but when I looked at her again, she spat on me. 20 years ago today, as a new student at Central High myself, I watched President Bill Clinton and my dad, Governor Mike Huckabee, open the doors for the Little Rock Nine, the same doors that had been closed to them because they were black. The Little Rock Nine, Melba Bills, Minnie Jean Brown, Elizabeth Eckford, Ernest Green, Gloria Ray, Karl Mark, Carlotta Walls Lanier, Thelma Mothershed, Terrence Roberts, and the late Tom Jefferson Thomas are American heroes who courageously advanced racial equality. As President Trump has said, racism is evil. It has no place in our country. Today, Central High is one of the most racially diverse and high achieving schools in Arkansas. This is a testimony to how far we've come in the last 60 years. It's not lost on the president or his administration that there is more work to do. We need better schools and we need better jobs to provide a safer, stronger, more prosperous future for every American. President Trump is working to make America great again for all of our citizens and his actions continue to show just how committed he is. And with that, I'll take your questions. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.